Previously on Final Fantasy IX. I need to know about the transportation method people use in this village. I cannot tell you the reason, but there is someone I must escort to the castle. Isn't this just obvious? What's going on? Shh. Why is it moving? Is it true that the mayor's brother found it? Who cares? We need more workers anyway. Hey, let's put this one in a box. Vivi, hold up! Zidane, wait! Jeez, hey! Vivi? Zidane? It is you! And this time on Final Fantasy IX. Hello guys, it's Gears H and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy IX. And on the last episode, we got Vivi back. He was captured by children and put inside of this box for some reason. Anyways, now we must catch up on our equipment for now, now that we have our whole roster. So let's do Zidane first, being that our lead man. He has the best dagger already, so there's no need to equip anything over there. Leather hat, let's see. He really learned all the... No, he could not learn anything from the leather hat, so we can turn off leather hat. Which you can learn bright eyes and add status, let's keep that in mind. And he can learn beast color from leather wrist, and also his stats will go up. It's nothing for silk shirt, nothing for accessories, so let's move on to Vivi. No new staffs, and let's see. He really learned fire from his leather hat, so we can turn off leather hat, and he will learn add status. And there's really nothing he could get except Leather Wrist, which he will learn Blizzard, which is a second element. Now we have Fire and Blizzard, and from Silk Shirt, he will get more defense, and he will also learn Thunder. We now have all three beginning spells for Vivi. He is now set. Nothing for accessories yet, too. We'll be waiting for that for the beginning or the middle-ish of the game. Nothing for Garnet on the Rods, and she could get the Feather Half for better defense and evasion. And let's see, nothing for Leather Wrist. She already has one, and that's about it for everyone, guys. So we're going to move on with our adventure, and let's see. On the last episode, we found this strange machine that looks somewhat like an equivalent of a steam engine or something. Let's press X and see. Is that an egg? I guess so. But, as you guys see, there's... Oh, yes, it is making eggs. Is it aim? This isn't a mist machine, but the mist is coming out of it. Strange. But there is a door over here, and if we open it, mist will come out. As you see, the last episode, I didn't want to open it because I was scared there was mist. You know, mist usually means monsters, but if we open it, random monsters will come out. But we actually kind of want that. Is this smoke? No. This this is mist. Let's open it. And as soon as we open it, mist will gush out and then a battle, battle shall ensue. So we will see probably new monsters coming out of this. And the new equip, uh, the new abilities that we got, we can now test, finally. But anyways, I have no idea who these freaking monsters are because I did not play ahead. So I'm pretty much using the memory of my 12-year-old mind. Okay, so let's try fire, even though, hmm... We probably should have done something else, because we already did fire, but we could just do a comparison from his new spells to his old spells. Okay, so Garnet, you just protect Vivi as usual, since he is our strong slash squishy guy. I did not see the damage. I think it was around 150. Okay, these seem to be Thunder types, so let's try to do... Thunder might heal it, but I actually want to try anyway, because usually, it's pretty obvious when it's the case that it's going to heal them. So let's try Thunder really fast and see what that does. Let's see, melee does seem to be somewhat average for it. Okay, but not, not the best. Probably not our best alternative to kill these guys over here. So, th oh boy. And they're not they're not too strong at all, so we don't have to worry about that too, uh, too much. So let's uh, protect ourselves first. Now, which protect would it go throughout the whole entire battle? Or there is a move that does go throughout the entire battle. I think I cannot recall. Uh, I think they're all just about even, actually. I did not pay attention to the damage once again. Okay, Garnet, you should do yourself good, and this should probably be the final blow. Maybe, maybe not. And it is! And we have won the battle. Let's see how much EXP they get. Hopefully we level up. Uh, Garnet is actually behind. Uh, now she's actually caught up, I have to say. She's behind since she caught up. Uh, she was in our party late, because Vivi and Siren and Zidane had to go save her ass back in Evil Forest. Miss monsters, huh? Hmm. I guess we did want to open up this door just to get these chests over here. Phoenix down, and... And... A potion. Good. Okay, th so that's that's actually mist seeping from outside. Okay, now that we're underground, I'm assuming we're actually in some type of cavern inside the cliffs where the mist is actually still existing at the bottom level, so I guess it's just seeping in from the bottom of the lower parts. Because remember, if you watch episode 9 or 10, we're actually over the cliffs because we actually were trying to get over the mist after we got out of the ice cavern. Okay, anyways, we're ready to fight these guys, so I'm going to skip over after this battle, so see you guys on the other side. Okay, guys, I forgot something beforehand. Okay, we got all that stuff. I totally forgot to equip all of our stuff. I was like, ah, we forgot to equip something. Uh, because uh, I was saying something about spells, but you don't have to equip spells, you don't have to worry about that. So Beast Killer adds status, and of course, Brides, which I think prevents 
blindness? Yes, it does. Good. We already have 4 AP on it. That's great. Wow, it builds up pretty fast. As you guys see, we only went through two battles. Of course, there were only two of the same monsters. Oh, there was an observation. Actually, um, I, was, I said something beforehand before the battle. Let's see if I was correct. So many machines. What are they doing here? Looks like they're sending mist to the machine outside. Wait. Ah, okay, I see. So the mist outside is going into the machine, so that, that makes perfect sense. So it's basically harnessing. But now the door is open, now there's actually encounters of battles out here, random ones. But anyhow, the Chocobo word and Gashel Greens. Chocobo is powering the conveyor belt. Why don't they just use a machine to do it? it? Looks like there is a machine over there, actually. So let's look at that. Here's another strange machine. It looks kind of like the mist machine on the theater ship. Kind of does. Hmm. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm just BSing because I have no idea what it looks like. I can almost see inside, but I can't see anything. I just hear some noise. Are the eggs hatching? Yes, they are. Are they? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no. Another battle, guys. If it's a new monster, we will stay on screen. If it's an old one, we will probably just do a cut and see you guys on the other side. And it is a new monster. And good thing it's only one. These guys can be quite troublesome if they come in numbers. They usually they come in threes or twos. Anyhow, let's try to steal whatever we can get from him. And let's see, got Echo Screen. Good, good. I'm cheap, guys. What can I say? Thieves, they could save you quite a bit of gill, which I actually never even mentioned before. But that's one of their good functions, really. I did not mean to protect myself, but Zig Dagger is actually dying. So it's actually not good. Oh, he could steal from us? Are you kidding me? We're going to steal anyway. VV, you're going to deal all the damage. We're going to try Thunder on this guy and see what it does. Let's see what it does, actually. I just, I'm actually curious which one will hurt him the most. You want to keep that in mind. Usually later on in the game, it's quite obvious what will affect the monsters better. And let's see. Uh, it, I don't think it did so well. I think Thunder for those monsters aren't the best spells we could possibly use. Anyhow, moving on. Oh, we did not level up. But VV's about to level up. I guess he's ahead of the game since he has been doing the most damage, but I'm not actually sure if that's really what dictates the EXP gain at the end of the battle. Ah! What is this? There. Some parts are different, but... They look like Vivi. What is this? Are they... dolls? Someone's coming. Vivi! Dagger! What? Is my mother behind this? Oh, jeez. This is the only way. Ah! What are you doing today? Ah! <laughs> I like how he's dragging them around. Ah! Sorry, but stay quiet. Hey! Did you say something? Nope. Not me. Okay, never mind. It's almost time. Hurry it up, will ya? I hear ya. Oh, distraction, guys. One moment. Whoa! Is it in? And there goes Zidane going to the barrel. That's kind of weird. Ah! Vivi! Yes, I gave Vivi a high-pitched scream right there. I thought it was necessary. Okay, and other news. Yeah, everyone's favorite character is Steiner. Pardon me? I must escort a person of high rank to the castle. When will the cargo ship arrive? Hmm, looks good. You're in my way. How dare thou! Kill off Knights of King of Pluto! It appears he doesn't really want to deal with us. Hmm, I shall persevere. Hmm, what do they use this place for? He kind of cut himself off there. I actually did not even press X, but anyhow, let's go down here. We are actually on that cliff next to Dolly. I almost said Lindblom. That would have been a horrible, horrible mistake. Let's see if we can find anything on the sides over here. No, no, oh, wait, hold up. Okay, 135 gil. I actually did not know that. I actually just did that off whim. I'm serious. I had not played ahead at this point. Um, none of these I remember. I didn't even see that chest there, really. Wow, goodies everywhere. The smell of coffee relaxes me. How about a cup? Oh, thank you. I am not here to drink coffee. Tell me when the cargo ship will arrive, or else Alexandrian royal family will appropriate this property. And then what? I order you to tell me when the cargo ship will arrive. Tell me! You're not a very creative interrogator. I am just trying to do what is right. Who decides right or wrong? You? Anyone can tell right from wrong. <laughs> Still as green as a pickle. 
When will the cargo ship arrive? Hmm. It's already here. They should be loading it now. Why couldn't you tell me sooner? Because you're rude. Oh, he's not, actually. Thank you. I love coffee. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. Alright, let's get out of here. I actually practically spilled my coffee, but uh, I think that's pretty much everything we could get over here, so let's get out of here. I thought we'd go to the adventure field, but no. Ah! Ah! Indeed! It is a cargo ship! Now I can take the princess back to the castle. Now I must think of a way to get her on the ship. What? There's something coming out of the ground! I wonder what they're going to use them for. We've been making lots of them since they set up the factory six months ago. Who cares? This is a piece of cake compared to farming. Better money, too. Um... <laughs> hey! There's a scary guy in armor running towards us?! What the fuck? Let's get out of here. I'd do this- I'd have the same reaction. I mean, Steiner's a huge guy in ru big rusty armor, and he runs really fast for his size. I mean, look at that! <laughs> Jeez. This barrel! What could be inside? What could they possibly be shipping from this village? What the? Did I just see that barrel move? Observe it some more. I've seen this pattern somewhere before. Ah! It's moving! Alright, give it another push. Yeah, The barrel spoke! Yeah. Princess, what in the world is going on? You scoundrel, is this your doing? Stano, please. Yes, your highness. Zidane, I don't know what to say to Vivi. I never knew anything suspicious was going on at the castle. We don't know for sure. Let's say by Vivi's side. This is not the time to panic. I must get the princess on board the cargo ship somehow. Then we can head back to Alexandria Castle. Yo, Russ, do you know when this airship's going? Hmm. Lindblom, yes, to Lindblom. That's convenient. Did you ask someone? The, the old man at the shack told me, so it must be true. You're acting strange. Something is heading this way. Holy crap. Princess gone at the queen waiting for you at the castle. You were all sent by the castle? What? What are you talking about? You were all unconscious from the blizzard. He said he was a black waltz. Are you the one who defeated number one? I am Black Waltz number two. That's right, kids. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Black Waltz number two. My power, magic, and speed make me fall superior to number one. Resistance is futile. As you guys, I was actually going to explain that, but Black Waltz, yours truly, already explained it for you guys. But anyhow, will we win this battle? If you guys want to find it, you're going to tune in to episode 13. So thank you for joining me. Be sure to leave a rating, and also you can follow me on Twitter. Click the link in the description below for your graphic annotation. Even though there's usually no annotation. And with that, I bid the adieu. Later, guys.